After years of mismanagement by the island's publicly owned utility, in 2021, a private company called Luma Energy took over operations. But incredibly, since then, things have only managed to get worse. Not only outages now even longer, at one point, a hospital lost power for 16 hours, and that was during normal weather. Now, as for the head of Luma, in a congressional hearing last year, he didn't seem especially concerned about how things were going. How would you characterize Luma's transition to managing Puerto Rico's electrical grid so far, with one being a total disaster and 10 being a remarkable success? When I look at it on balance, I, I would give us, you know, a B. Um, I think we have a lot to do. Okay, so one uh, to 10, wanna... one to I... 10, you would give yourself like a six? I'd give myself a, a i give us a seven, considering what a we seven. do. Okay, how many blackouts have been reported since Luma took over on June 1? Uh, the system has a very large number of outages, Congresswoman, both can you, before can you and even after. count them? Is it so big you can't even keep track of them all? Uh, there, there are outages every single day. Okay, that is a terrible answer. First, you absolutely should be keeping tracks of the outages happening on your watch. Second, the question was based on a scale of 1 to 10, and you answered B. <laughs> and finally, a 7 out of 10 would be a 70% grade, but that's actually a C minus. So, if I were to grade your ability to grade yourself, I'd give you a 2 out of 10, which, for the record, is a fucking F. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why you didn't just leave that Zoom immediately and blame it on a blackout. After all, you're the CEO of Luma Energy. It would have been entirely believable. <laughs> and while Luma has repeatedly promised over the last year that things are improving, even before Fiona hit, there were clear signs of trouble. Just look what happened when the governor there, Pedro Pierluisi, spoke to discuss plans for the coming storm. You don't need to know what he's saying here. You just need to watch what happens. Tras el aviso de la tormenta tropical, como ya se ha informado, el ADCEF comenzó el proceso ayer para adelantar los beneficios del PAN a los beneficiarios. <laughs> yeah, that's not great, is it? I don't know what's worse there, the fact that the power went out in the middle of this press conference about storm preparedness, or the fact that no-one in the room seemed that surprised. <laughs> the only way that could have been any more ominous is if, when the lights came back on, Michael Myers was standing right behind him. <laughs> people have been understandably furious in Puerto Rico for a while now. There have been street protests, with people making protest signs out of appliances that were ruined during power surges. And just watch this reaction.